You already know what time it is. October 27th, 2019. What's in the shop today? Partner. Big Mouth. This kid's kind of terrifying. I'm not going to lie. Big Mouth. The back bling is the conical council of frogs. Got it. <laughs> council of frogs. All right. We got it, guys. Wow. Look at him there. If you would like to use me as your supported creator, that is P-I-Z-0. Pizza with a ugh, a zero. You know, we're getting it. Yes. The Nashers. They are spooky. They have so much life to them. They're actually like looking around. Those are creepy. You know, we're getting it. Yes. The toothsome, <laughs> toothsome wrap. Another pink item. It's, uh, it's kind of gross actually. You know what? It looks like when I cut slits in my meat for like a pot roast and I stick garlic in there. They look like cloves of garlic in the rip and wrap. You know, we're getting it. Yes. We also have a really, really cool wrap called the Widow's Web. It is animated. I know we have a lot of red and black, but personally for me, <laughs> I like red a lot more than pink. So I might not be as harsh on this weapon wrap as I would per se a pink or a blue or a purple wrap, but you know, we're getting it. Yes. As always guys, this is the first look video. There will be a more in depth before you buy with back blings that match the outfit and outfits that match the current back bling. Yeah. He's got a, he's got a frog on his jacket. Is that for real? I didn't even notice that before. Regardless, the toothsome weapon wrap, garlic clothes. I'm convinced. In terms of the jacket that this creature is wearing, I don't want to assume gender in 2019, that he stole the blueprints from Flap Jackie because her jacket is flappy. It's a really big jacket that this creature is wearing. Although you can't really tell how creepy the outfit is since there is a hood on it. But the, the hood is just like a, a dark hole of evil from someone else's uh, like POV here. ADS is, it's okay. I'm, oh, these frogs, man. The <laughs> frogs are... Poor guys. Look at them just flopping around over there. Help us. Help. Anyways. Very creepy set so far. It, um... The pickaxe alone is... It gives me the jeebies. Oh, the frog in the middle. He's so disappointed. Look at him. Regardless. Using the X glider here. X umbrella from last season. I don't know how I feel about this. I like the little alchemy flasks on the right leg. Those are cool. Let's do equip when equip with the harvesting tools. Very, very gross. Okay. Oh man, you can really get a good look on each swing when they come back towards the camera. Oh, it's like a growl. You hear it like every three swings, more or less. Or like a dragon exhaling. These are creepy. Look at how they move around as you're running. The teeth are, have a little bit of flex to them as well. Wow. I don't know how I feel about the wrap. The wrap's kind of meh. Harvesting tools are very unique. Very gross. They don't have a jawline. <laughs> Hitting opponents with shield. Without shield. You can, I'm assuming it's just like an exhale every three swings. They are gross. Where did my sprays go? I don't know. Yeah, the pickaxe is gross. It almost looks like a witch's cap on the tip of his hood as well. So yeah, so far, a very unique, very gross, <laughs> very gross here. I don't know how I feel about it. My frog's getting down, man. Oh, the flasks, the, excuse me, the flasks on the left arm as well. Didn't notice those. Wow. Creepy skin. Let's see it without a back bling. So now we have the outfit without a back bling as well as the Widow's Web weapon wrap. I'll show you that real quick. I do want to see if the back bling does anything significant when you're gliding. My Brewster on strike again. Wouldn't you know? 
a nice red and black wrap animated with with cobwebs, spider webs. I like it. Uh, I mean, like I said, obviously I'm a fan of red and black anyways. This is the exact same color scheme as my drum set, so red, white, and black. I'm a little biased towards, and I'm trying not to be, but this is way better than the tooth toothsome. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> Welcome back. Toothsome weapon wrap. Okay. I, I, I think it looks pretty good without a back bling as well. Again, reminds me of Flapjacky. This is like how big the coat is that they're wearing. Again, I'm not going to assume the gender. It's just, we're just going to call it a creature. Okay. But I do want to see the back bling um, when we're actually like gliding down from a battle bus. So let's do that. So the back bling just seems to be lifeless right now. Nothing crazy going on here that I can tell. Nope. I'm just curious. Because some of the pet backlings will do like a scream on the way down. Or like kind of hang on to something when you're gliding. But no. They're just there. Props only, I guess. Not a lot of... Oh my... <laughs> I'm still kind of weirded out by how... <laughs> how interactive they are. I don't know what the hell they're going to match in terms of outfits. But we'll do that in the in-depth portion. Look at this tongue though. Like as I'm running and jumping, the tongue on the character. <laughs> <laughs> Gross, man. Very unique skin, though. I will say that. Very unique. Oof. The Nashers, are they rare? They Because they do have a lot of life to them, I'll say yes. Two out of two. Color scheme. Um, dragon scale. And purple gum tongue flavor. I'll give it one out of two flavor. I meant color. Um, equip sound is decent. Impact swing sound, I do like that. It's got like a nice exhale of like some type of dragon. And will I use it? I I probably won't though. Two, four, six. Six out of ten for the Nashers. Yoink. So we got the toothsome weapon wrap here. It's a it's a far stretch for an animation. You can slightly see it pulsing through there. It looks like garlic cloves and some raw meat before I cook it. So nine out of ten there. And I, I give it a good rating still because you see a weapon wrap literally the entirety of the round. So it's always worth to buy weapon wraps, in my opinion. You'll see them the entire round. The Widow's Web. Red, white, and black. I love the animation. It's not too distracting. Very cool with the spider webs. 10 out of 10 for the Widow's Web. You like. And with that being said, guys, liking the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. That is P I Z zero in the item shop. And we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See ya.